Where was I born? Graham Ray, Michigan. April 7th, 1938. My father's name was Stephen Tornavish. My mother's name is Evelyn Tornavish. I was primarily a commercial fisherman most of my life. I did have a little stint uh, on the East Coast. I worked as a car inspector. The Massachusetts requires to have your cars inspected. So I did that when I worked at the garage for my brother, state inspections. And well, I guess I did work for UP Power Company for three years in Munising in the early 70s. But outside of that, it's been pretty much commercial fishing. I had retired and I wasn't happy with it, so I, I, I wanted to go back. I was going to go back out east and go shell fishing. I did that uh, for scallops. And um, that's why I had this back, this last back surgery, so I could go back to work because it was really bad shape. And I was getting curvature of the spine and that. But the operation ended all that thought. When did I first meet Alan? Uh, we were very young children. Uh, I lived right over here in the corner, in the brown house. And Alan lived down uh, just on the other side of, of the uh, elderly house. How often do I visit Al? Daily. I opted for Marquette General and um, it was a long operation and apparently somebody didn't watch close enough and I never did find out the, actually what happened if a blood pressure dropped too fast or something, but it's like the um, optic nerve in your eyes had a stroke, basically. So the eyes are fine, the eyes are perfect, but they just can't, the, they, that's, the optic nerve's got the blood or tells you what, you know, what your image is in that. The surgery was nine hours and um, I just woke up and I was blind. It happened February 11, uh, 2004. It's been just over, just over five years. And we've got good friends, thank gosh. Well, you're pretty much dependent on everybody else for transportation. And uh, um, we've had to put buttons like on the microwave but I do the laundry and that, yeah. We've got buttons on the washer and on the dryer, and it's just a um, completely different lifestyle. But everybody's been, the whole, everybody in town's really quite helpful, you know. And everybody's all, always offering if we need to go somewhere. When I met Alan, um, my mother and Alan's mother, Tootie, were best of friends when I was born. So I've known Tootie forever, and I guess I've probably known Alan ever since he was a little guy. I would say his personality did change after the accident for a short time, and I think very naturally because that's a heck of an adjustment to make and to have it come totally unexpected into your life, you know, to be one day seeing and the next day never seeing again. Working with Alan really does have an impact on my life because um, I think it's easy to think that if you found yourself in a situation like his or, you know, at, at some kind of a disadvantage, um, that maybe you'd throw in the towel, but it's just become so apparent to me that there are so many other options um, to see how he has really just pulled himself up and gone on with his life. People, you know, small towns really, you can't beat them for, for uh, friendly people, you know. Definitely, I think it's a good idea for people to help each other, be it in a small town, a large town, whatever. Builds community, builds pride, builds thankfulness. I think it's every bit as important in a small town as it is anywhere. I think uh, the need to help people and the value in helping people is the same whether you're in a small town or a large town or anywhere on the planet. 
Um, people need things and very often other people can provide them. The town has uh, bent over backwards for me and it's just been, uh, everybody's been very kind. And uh, without them, it would be a very hard struggle for the two of us.